I'm David D, the official voice of the best thriller books. I'm here to introduce the next episode of The Five Angry Men. Today, they discuss their favourite fictional presidents. No one asked me, but for me, it has to be President Jack Ryan. Anyway, here are the boys. Hi, welcome back to Five Angry Men. Uh, with me today, you got Chris, Steve, Stu, and Todd. I'm Derek. Uh, tonight, we're going to be talking about who our favorite fictional presidents are. Todd, what you got? All right, I'm not the obvious one. I'm going to let somebody else have that because I'm nice. I'm nice like that. Uh, I'm actually going to switch it up a little bit and go with President James Gant. And most people probably will not know who that is from James Rollins' Sigma series, uh, particularly in Bloodline. Uh, that's when he really kind of shines as to who he is. Um, let's just say he does some of the, just the, the dirty, I've had uh, seen a president do to his own family in that um, by, by leaving someone close to him in a coma as a form of torture. So uh, he, he was hard no good political guy, but just, I mean, when, when it hit, <laughs> hit the fan, it got dark. So James Gantz is my, uh, he's my favorite oh. fictional president because he, he takes care of business. Yeah. Steve, who you got? Um, all right. I'll, I'll break the seal on the, the obvious one and I'll give you another one, but uh, I gotta go Jack Ryan, right? <laughs> Jack Ryan senior. Um, I think at this point in time, you know, I think we'd all wish he was the, you know, the president and, uh, you know, someone who was reluctant to take the job, but, you know, has a moral compass and, and all that stuff. So, um, yeah, I mean, look, and I grew up with Tom Clancy, right? So, I mean, he's, he's going to be there and, you know, whether it's the books or the movies, um, you know, can picture Harrison Ford as Jack Ryan, right? And, um, you know, I think, uh, you know, he's the obvious choice. But if I had to go somewhere else, I'd probably go with J.P. Dellenbaugh from uh, the Dewey Andreas series. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, he's a former hockey player. Um, and, uh, you know, just uh, it seems like a pretty um, cool dude, but also really, you know, knows his stuff and, and uh, backs Dewey and, you know, is, uh, takes the fight to the enemy. So uh, if I couldn't go with Jack, I would go with JP for sure. That's cool. Awesome. Let's go. Red, Red right. Wings? Does that sound right? Yeah, I think so. I think that sounds right. Maybe. Um, yeah. Chris, I, who you got? Well, um, I guess since we're talking about books, it can't be a movie fictional president because if it was, it was going to be Abraham Lincoln, the vampire hunter. But... Um, <laughs> But honestly, I had Jack Ryan, too. Um, I think Clancy's ability to create a series that continues to live on that we've seen through uh, what Grant Blackwood, Mark Greeny. Uh, now we've got um, Don Bentley in there and others, you know, Mark Cameron writing the, the, the Clancy series and continuing it on. I mean, we've got some great authors that are continuing that on and great storylines to continue to be great um, and awesome. So. Sorry, Steve, I have to, you know, piggyback off yours. That's fine. I agree with me. I'm right. So that's totally good. Yeah. Well, occasionally. On All this right, one, I am. I mean, Todd's not right. So. <laughs> Rarely am, but. Yeah. yeah. Stu, who you got? <laughs> well, it stinks that Steve decided to pick two, but um, this one was really hard. Like, I don't know about the it rest of you guys, hard. but I had, I struggled with this one. So I picked the first one that popped in my head. Um, I ended up coming into this room and looking at my bookshelf and like looking at my books like who is the president in that one but um i agreed with steve i went with uh jp dellenbaugh from the dewey andreas series um catch um and it was uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh a, a great character i i picture him almost like a like a young donald rumsfeld like a like a an athlete like I believe Rumsfeld was like a collegiate wrestler and like went to college on wrestling scholarship I pictured like a big dude a hockey player um and just is a is a cool character and um is uh makes a is plays a pretty big role in the most recent Dewey Andreas novel The Island uh which is fantastic the whole series is great um and the one I showed um that my baby is now under is called uh, Trap the Devil, which is probably my favorite in the whole series. Uh, so uh, yeah, J.P. Dellenbaugh for me. Good All choice. Right. 
Well, I had Jack Ryan too, um, but to throw another one in there because, you know, like Chris, he, uh, with his Abe Lincoln vampire killer, I, just because he was such a bad guy, Gene Hackman in that movie, Absolute Power, if you guys remember that. Yeah, that's that, the so, Clint Eastwood, yeah? Where Clint was hiding in the closet and saw him. I'm not going to give away any spoilers, but. Yeah, that book is great, too, that, that great <laughs> Baldacci novel, right? <laughs> going to watch that yeah. movie. So. Yeah, Baldacci. I mean, Gene Hackman's been great, great in everything he's been in, though. I mean, uh, I think I Gene is one yeah. of the I wish he didn't retire. So good. Ever seen. Yeah, so. All right, anybody you got anything else you want to add? I'll tell you who my least favorite president is right now in, in fiction. It's, uh, what's that? his name? Uh, Anthony Cook from uh, Enemy at the Gates. Uh, Kyle mm-hmm. Mills. Oh, yeah. Um, that, that guy, uh, I think <laughs> this next one is going to, you know, even play a bigger part, but that guy's an asshole. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what about this dude, though? What about the guy in this one? That's a good one, too. Yeah. I mean, he plays a pretty evil president. You don't even realize it at the time. Spoiler alert. What? Was, am I wrong? <laughs> no, you're, you're spot on. You're not going to kill anybody. Are you? All right. So <laughs> if that's it, we're done. Uh, thanks again, guys. Uh, from Todd, Stu, Steve, Chris, and myself. Five Angry Man. We'll see you guys later.